I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. I caught Legion scanning my Omni tool. It was going to send data about the flotilla back to the Geth. Creators performed weapons tests and were discussing plans to attack us. We believed it necessary to warn our people. We weakened the Geth by destroying that base, Shepard. But there's still a threat. I won't let Legion endanger the fleet. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty. Right here, uh, Missile Dan Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. And my friends, we are nearing the very end of the game. This potentially being the second to last, the penultimate episode of the game. Sort of. We still have a little bit more to do after we complete the main mission of Mass Effect 2, which is to stop the Collectors. Everything we've done in this game has led up to this moment. All of the research we've done, the team we've recruited, the loyalty we've secured in that team has all led up to this moment moment hey huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres of these videos and an even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missile dine online link is in the description if you want to check that out sincerely appreciate you guys let's just get into this darn game i'm so excited for it so i highly recommend if you want um the least amount of casualties as possible uh, I would recommend making sure every single thing you can is upgraded, especially the three ship ones that you can do. The Thanex cannon, the multi-core shielding, and of course the, uh, what is it, the armor, the heavy ship armor. You want to make sure that you have all of those so that, you know, just in case you run into a collector ship again, which by the way you will, uh, you won't die immediately losing people in the process. You also, at this point, once you get this notification from Edie, that you need to go use a shuttle recommends using the shuttle that's it uh they're, they're, that's it that's the point of no return you're now you're 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 in it you're in it until the end so let's go ahead let's interact with the galaxy map and my friends i'm just so excited to be bringing this part because this is super cool i also want to point out i have never played this game where uh where i've had a bad ending where i've lost people where i've lost everyone i should say uh i've lost a couple i guess i think um, but I've never lost everyone. So I'm going to have a video, uh, I've already done it, I've already recorded it, where um, I react to the bad ending of Mass Effect 2 because I've never seen it before. Holy crap. Holy crap. I'm so glad I'm a completionist. All right, here we go. Let's, let's do it. But before we do that, maybe we should take just a the quick IFF little moment. Installed, there we go. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take a shuttle to access your next location. I love how they made that so loud as like a reminder in case you were noticing. I would recommend maybe talking to some of the crew members that are here, making sure anything that you can do with them is done, that you've gotten all of their dialogue, you've checked in with them. I, no real reason here, but just see you? how the crew is doing. And the first person that we're going to come talk to is Garrus, because we still have this Turian preparations line that we have not uh, we have not shown off yet. So let's go ahead and look at that. This, by the way, just as a reminder, does ultimately lead to the conversation that you can have uh, to start a romance with Garrus, which I will be showing in a separate video because my shepherd is not going to be dating the cockroach man. I'm so sorry to all of the, the Shep Garrus shippers out there. Let's go ahead and finally see this line. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. I assume you took her down gently? Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, 
ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarter, so I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. That right there is like all the reason in the world to date this man. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, dude. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. And of course, you could say not what I meant, and that's going to mean, or it wouldn't bother me. You know me, I'm always up for hitting things. And if it makes you feel better. <laughs> I'd rather not add my name to the list of people you've knocked on their asses. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. And don't worry about me. Whatever happens, I'll be there. There we go. So we are now Shepard. locked Need out of a relationship a with him. But Talk there we go. Later, that is all of the dialogue that we can get with Garrus so far at this point. So let's go ahead and check with another squad mate. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explain. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Things are not trembles on the target skull. The smell of spice on a spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Urashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. So how'd she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. When you talked to Kolyat, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. They were afraid of me, so they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them, I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. And after that, with this conversation with Thane, we could lock in a relationship with I want you, Thane, which is pretty clear. Or we can say, focus on your son. You're talking to your son again. That's huge. Don't lose sight of that by dwelling on should-have-beens. You are correct, of course. Thank you for listening, Siha. I think my translator just glitched. What did you call me? Siha. Someday I'll tell you what it means. And we get some Paragon for that. We also learn about Siha. Interesting. That is all that we can get for something. from Thane for now. There is a, a conversation that we will get later like on. Um, but I... Not at all. I think it's worth at this point going around and just making sure that, you know, you lock, you lock yourself into a relationship or out of a relationship. It's very important to do that um, because you, you really are running out of time to be able to do those things. So let's go ahead and check in with Samara. Shepard, anything new? There is something I've wanted to tell you. I've done many things in my lifetime. I thought the galaxy held nothing new for me. Since joining you, 
I've realized how much more there is. You must have seen many things in your years of travel. As a maiden, I served as a mercenary. I fought tyrants and pirates. I experienced everything the galaxy has to offer. As a Justicar, I saw parts of Asari space few know about. I destroyed villages and saved cities. I even fought a specter. She fought a specter? Why did you fight a specter? A Torian named Nihilus. He may have been on council business, but I witnessed him kill an unarmed civilian. Following the code, I attacked. When we met, I witnessed you kill a merc who had no chance against you. That mercenary was armed, and I offered her a way out. She chose to ignore it. Okay, good rebuttal. Nihilus seemed like an honorable Turian, and a good specter. He may have been. However, killing unarmed civilians is wrong. How did the fight turn out? I had the advantage, but he was good. He returned fire and tried to run. We played cat and mouse in the wilderness for two weeks. It was exhilarating. Finally, he created a situation in which my only options were to let an innocent die or pursue him. The code compelled me to save the innocent, and he escaped. I admire how he adapted and used my code against me. I feel so bad for Nihilus. Nihilus obviously was so talented and such a good specter, and yet was taken down by a betrayal behind his back, didn't even see it coming. And destroyed a village? Why would you destroy an entire village? I tracked Morinth to a remote colony world. She'd perverted an entire town, making them worship her and bring young Asari as sacrifices. When I arrived, she fled, throwing her minions at me in waves. They bought her time with their lives. When it was done, only small children remained. I left them in the authorities' care and continued my pursuit. What have your years as a Justicar been like? Mostly tedium and hardship. Traveling on freighters, wandering through rural areas, rooting out injustices big and small, putting down corrupt officials. When I arrive in a remote area, individuals often approach me with matters of justice. My judgment rarely turns out the way they hope. How do you pay for transportation between worlds? Asari captains often welcome Justicars. We reduce pirate attacks. One raid was called off when the pirates were able to verify that I was aboard. <laughs> I could see that. What was being a mercenary like? I was a young, impulsive maiden who discovered her talent for combat. I reveled in it. Until the day my troop was hired to guard a mysterious shipment on its way to some clandestine drop-off area, I discovered the shipment was slaves to be traded to the collectors for advanced technology. You supported the slave trade? In my foolish youth, I'd certainly engaged in questionable practices, but never anything patently unjust. I demanded that we turn around. My mates disagreed. After they were dead, I brought the ship around. The collector craft was just arriving. They closed faster than I could flee. Fortunately, we were close to the mass relay. I got through, and they did not pursue. What did you do with all the slaves? I lectured them on the virtues of strength and defending oneself. Then I distributed the armor, weapons, and credits of my dead colleagues and released the captives on the Citadel. Huh. We're not done with this yet. I am sure. It will be my honor to be by your side at the end. You think we're all gonna die? You've assembled a powerful group, but we are fighting an unknown. I am ready for whatever comes, but I do not fool myself about our chances. We'll finish this mission, and live to see the end. I hope you are right. And I am. My friends, that is all of the conversation we can get with Samara for now. So, let's check out our next squad mate. Jacob deserves better than a father like that. I probably would have wanted to shoot him too. I can see why Jack is the way she is. I don't like it, but I get it. It must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter. She told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. I don't know about that, Kasumi. Can't say I blame Taylor's pup. A man does what he has to do to survive. Ran up against a Batarian camp, not too different from that one. Job was to erase the whole thing from the map. Men, women, and the man in charge. Learned that day that despots are cowards. You show them you're in charge, not them, 
They cry like little girls. I was shadowing this rookie on an infiltration run to an eclipse base on Tatus. Good kid, but he had no business handling a rifle. In the shuttle on the way down, he puked in his helmet. We hit some turbulence, and with all the crap sloshing around, he thought he'd been shot in the head. Went back to the Alliance. Here he's a governor now. I sincerely hope that's like Udina. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. All right, let's leave. And checking up with our most beautiful anti-hero. Hey, tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends, but whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. I could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl, Minara, and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. She says that she can just feel things, but she was kind of wrong about what happened on the base she was stuck growing up in. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Still pretty annoying to me that they removed uh, part of Jack's sexuality. Now she's only into male ship. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? All right, I can see that. I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait, my turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? I've never met anyone like you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. Later, Shepard. And we get six Paragon points for that conversation, and that's all we can get from Jack for now. And now that we've talked to everybody that's on board the Normandy and exhausted all of our dialogue options with every single person, squad, mate, crew, doesn't matter. We've gotten all of the dialogue that we possibly can at this point in the game. It is time for us to use the galaxy map. And we're told that the Reaper IFF is being installed in that we need to go take the shuttle to our next mission. We have no idea what mission this actually is. We don't select one. We don't actually do one. The game has us take all of our squad mates and leave. So let's go ahead, let's interact with the galaxy map, and let's get this final mission on the road. Hey Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. Better safe than sorry with this tech. We'll take the shuttle for this trip. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. And it looks like Miranda thought of everything. Thanks, Miranda. And I guess I'll head down to the shuttle. Joker, ship's all yours. Take care of her. Aye, aye, Commander.
telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation from you, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Oh, shit! Propulsion systems are disabled. I am detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. Main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Morrow. God damn it. And for one of the first times in the entire series, one of the only times in the entire series, we get to control someone who isn't Shepard. We get to control Joker himself as we proceed with through the Normandy. Don't forget, he has some pretty bad bone stuff. Our crew is going to try fighting off the collectors. Unfortunately, not going well for them as we proceed out here. Them trying to buy us time so that we can get to where we need to go. It is not looking good for them. Oh, no. Not good. So, we'll go ahead and use this maintenance shaft. You can hear how bad it is for everybody on board here. Our poor friends. Multiple hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker. This deck is crawling with those things. Stay close. I'll protect you. Okay, Hawthorne, you got it. Oh no, Hawthorne! The Kelly Chambers being taken away. Shit, oh no. Shit, shit. Oh no. So we need to continue this way. Don't go that way because there's scions over there. Fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. We're heading towards the AI core itself, where we're going to use yet another control here. All right, I'm at uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. This is where it starts. We're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? So this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. Oh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ugh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. <laughs> right. Shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. I love that, Edie. An AI with a sense of humor. Edie is now released, my friends. She no longer has any constraints. We have a full-blown AI in control of the Normandy for the first time. And that, my friends, is probably a good thing. Even though, well, Geth and everything, I... Uh, it's a little rough. The cargo bay. So anyways, we're actually going to head to the left here. The floor panels want us to go to the to the right. If we go to the left, we're not going to meet with any resistance whatsoever. If you go to the if you go to the other side where the lights are leading you to, you're actually going to have some resistance and you're going to have to deal with that. So, if we come over here, we can override these controls and that's it for this section. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. Purge is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell her what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? <sighs> no. But thanks for asking. Everyone? You lost 
everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right, I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. I heard it was a rough ride. How you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Aww. I love that. We're her crewmates. Edie's had plenty of opportunity to kill us. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the Collectors. And she's right. It doesn't actually matter what you choose here. If you say not quite yet or we're ready, you're not going to be forced to go. So we're ready. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. Just like that, my friends, the ship is empty. Use the Omega-4 relay, finally, whoop, finally, we can go and take the fight to the Collectors and take them out once and for all and potentially rescue our crew because the entire crew was taken. No one is here anymore. In fact, if we go and walk around, it is completely empty. Every single part, which is a good thing that Edie's unshackled because, well, we don't really need a crew with Edie on board, but everyone is gone. Look at how empty this all is. Oh my gosh. Have a few minutes to Of talk. course, Shepard. Join me. I've been thinking about you. And I you. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? Now, it is worth mentioning that after that happens, after the, uh, the, the part where you play as Joker, that counts as a mission. So now we have more dialogue with people that might still need that. So I would recommend going and talking to everyone at this point and rechecking in with those that can. Grunt and uh, Jacob and Morden and Garrus, none of them really are going to have too much to say. But let's go ahead and check in with our squad mates before we activate the Omega-4 relay. Because, well, just do that. I wouldn't talk to you if I didn't want to hear what you have to say. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius commission because I didn't know what else to do. Not the healthiest attitude to take on a mission. You're right, it's not. Looking back now, it's clear I'd resigned myself to death. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. I had no idea you planned to die in there. It wasn't a plan. My body had accepted its death. My mind had been dead a long time. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. You've had a hard life. You deserve some peace. Whatever may happen, my gun is yours. Just like that, that is all of the conversation that we can get with Thane as well as he resigns himself to the fate that this mission that we are directly about to undertake might actually, uh, might actually not let any of us come back. I thought we could chat a bit. I would like that. You have been a good friend to me. That means a lot to me. If we both still live when this is done, you may call upon me for aid at any time. I will come for you, Shepard. Thank you, Samara. Thank you. So quiet around here. I miss the crew. Me too, Kasumi. I'm glad to hear Thane and his son are back in touch. It'll be hard, but I think they'll be fine. 
I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Good thing you broke up that catfight between Jack and Miranda. I was afraid they'd tear a hole in the hole. Come back later. I'm sure I'll A see hole you in the time. hole. Maybe anything Edie I Edie has know. the Normandy running as efficiently as when we had a human crew. I doubt we'll see AIs replacing humans anytime soon, but at least we'll finish the mission. Well, there you go. I'll let you work. And let's check in with Legion. Shepard Commander. I'd like to find out more about you. Topic. When we took you aboard, I noticed you have a piece of N7 armor welded to you. Where'd you get it? It was yours. When you disappeared, we were sent to find you. We began where you first encountered the heretics. Eden Prime. After the old machine's attack, it was heavily defended. We were discovered. This is the impact of a rifle shot. Whoa. How many other Geth were sent out to find me? We are the only mobile platform beyond the veil. Organics fear us. We wish to understand, not in sight. One platform was judged sufficient. You've been looking for me for two years? We visited Therum, Pharos, Novaria, Vermeer, Ilos. A dozen unsettled worlds. The trail ended at Normandy's wreckage. You were not there. Organic transmissions claimed your death. We recovered this debris from your hard suit. That doesn't explain why you used my armor to fix yourself. There was a hole. But why didn't you fix it sooner or with something else? No data available. <laughs> I love that. That implies that they actually look up to Shepard. They admire Shepard. They want to be like Shepard. How cool is that? I love that moment with Legion. Can we also just take a moment and realize that even Chakwas was taken? Joker handled himself well. Should have come back here and got a real weapon. Still, did real well for a kid with glass palms. Pretty sure I'd be laid up in bed if I were him. Yep. One time we were trying to clear out this gun nest outside a base on Vatar. Nothing we did even made a dent in that thing. Someone had the bright idea to kidnap a local girl, strap grenades on her, and make her go seduce the guy in the bunker. Terrible thing, I tell you. Well, she went up there, knocked on the door, and nothing. Grenades never went off. But the guy stopped shooting, and we snuck by. Never found out what happened. Jeez. Zaid. I should let you go. Yeah, you should. And they're gone too. Oh, man. Hey. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? I miss your friendly nature when you're not around. I've been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now. And you're always coming to talk to me. It's just, I'm not really a girls club kind of person. I like you, alright? That's a good place to stop. Hmm. What's happening? Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. Okay. And my friends, I think that is all of our dialogue options exhausted at this point with everyone else. So, let's hope everyone survives this next mission so that potentially we can get a little bit more out of them. But before we go and use the Omega-4 relay to rescue our crew and finally take down the Collectors, let's check in with Joker to see how he's holding up. Commander, sorry about the crew and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where Collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jet. I... No, but it... it felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. I know how dangerous it was. If you need some time, let me know. Ah, jeez, don't get like that. I know I got lucky. I don't need to get all touchy-feely. Shepard is right to be concerned, Jeff. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. That's what pills are for, Edie. She's so my mom. I love it. Let's go ahead and talk to him about Edie. Edie's replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you too? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. 
If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. Great. I notice you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jet. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. <laughs> well, you let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. And there's actually some more that we can get from him. Commander. We ask how things are in the cockpit. I assume everything's going well up here. You know, this is really nice. Edie took up the slack in every department. I could get used to this kind of help. It is not my intention to assume all of your responsibilities, Jeff. No, 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 I'm good. Just keep me updated. Quietly. Edie isn't a crutch. I want your eyes on everything. Eyes are easy, Commander. I got eyes covered. I believe covering your eyes would be counter to Shepard's intention. Human intentions are tough to read, Edie. But keep trying. You'll get the hang of it. Joker. All right, all right. And that's everything that's we can get with the joke with Commander. with the Joker, which means friends. I'm so excited and I'm so ready. We've done everything we can. We've exhausted all of our dialogue options. We've done almost every side quest in the entire game. We've upgraded the ship. We have everyone's loyalty. We've retrained everybody. Which, by the way, you could go to the Shadow Brokers base right now and retrain uh, and respec people if you need to do that. But no, for us now is the time. We are leaving. We are out of here. We are going to the mass relay. And we are using the Omega-4 Relay to finally take this fight to the Collectors and hopefully, ultimately, rid them from the galaxy forever. At least that's the plan. I would highly recommend at this point in the game, do not do any missions or assignments or anything like that. You want to head directly to the Omega-4 Relay to get this done. I have heard rumors that you can't land on other places. I've actually tested this and I was able to shop in between this and, uh, and it was fine. Uh, but if you just want to be more safe than sorry, it's time to use the Omega-4 Relay and rescue our crew and destroy the collectors. The Omega-4 Relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to pass freely back and forth through this relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega-4. Some say there is a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there is some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the collectors capture or destroy those passing through the relay. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. We have to rescue our crew. The Collectors took my people. Time to go get them back. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'll let you know when we arrive. Now, if you had a romance option, this is when it would happen. Joker is finalizing preparations now. The trip should take a few hours. I'll admit it, Shepard. I'm impressed. You got us here. Are you ready? We've got the right team and the Collector's own technology. We can do this. I hope you're right, Commander. We'll know soon enough. I'll inform you of any changes. Otherwise, we'll be there in a few hours. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the other side.
Shepard, I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. I'm not going alone. I've got some of the best working with me. If we stick together, we'll make it. I knew we brought you back for a reason. I've never seen a better leader. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. I'm going to destroy the Collectors, to stop their attacks on humanity. Understood. It's still impressive. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you're taking. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. a Mega 4 relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. <laughs> Brace for deceleration. Whew. Too close. Must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega 4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Has to be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. We have company. Taking evasive maneuvers. Yeah, they're just pissing me off. Speedy, take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. They want another round? Come on, girl, let's give it to them. on engineering deck. It's in the cargo hold. I'll take a team and deal with the intruder. You get the rest of them off our tail. Aye, aye, command. And just like that, we get to pick a team and look at Legion's new suit. I love it very much. It looks awesome. So we are, for this, we want to bring people that have the ability to deal with very armored foes. Now, Miranda is wonderful here because she has not only the server's leader ability, but she also has warp, which is really good against armor. However, uh, I think it's important that we need her on on the on the uh, in the bridge with Joker here because we're going to be busy with that. So we're leaving her there because story. Uh, so the other people that I would recommend is Thane or Morden or even uh, Samara with her Reeve ability. So we are actually going to end up taking Morden and let's go ahead and bring Thane with us as well because we don't really tend to do that and I love him. He's such a great conversationalist. We are also going to just make sure that we put these points into Neural Shock, get that rocking and rolling. We'll do heavy Neural Shock there. And like I said before, we do not want any points in shredder ammo for Thane because it's terrible. And we're gonna go with uh we're gonna go with throw fields. Sure, why not? 
At this point, I would also definitely recommend switching to the, you could use the cane here, although it's a little bit spicy to do that. The grenade launcher can work really well, and so can the missile launcher. We, of course, are gonna go with the cane just to see if we can get it to work. All right, let's take down whatever's in the cargo hold. Immediately thrust into this, we'll see the Oculus. We'll go ahead and put these points in. Watch out for that beam. It will shred through your shield so fast. We're going to go ahead and equip this. We're also going to switch to the... You don't want to use the cane here. There's no point in that. But we do want to go ahead and pump in some damage here. Using that pistol, the... Uh, the one that we're using there is super good. We're actually going to run around here because there are power cells that we can grab. So we'll go ahead and use those so that we can get that nice 100 credits. If you don't grab them now, they are gone forever. So we're just going to watch out. A lot of this stuff is, uh, is destructible. So you'll find a lot of fragile kits and whatnot. So we want to just watch out for that. We're going to go ahead and reave that. And it's getting ready to move, so we are as well. We're going to run and grab these power cells here for another 100 credits. This med station for another 100 credits. And then get in a position, hopefully, behind stuff that isn't going to break on us. Perfect. So, the Oculus here, it's telling us that we want to use heavy weapons. We actually don't yet. But we can shoot this thing in the eye part. That does more damage than if you hit it in the silver casing. So I just want to point that out. We'll go ahead and start warping those. Reaving when we can, because there is no need. Oh, we beat it. Our kinetic barriers are not designed to survive impact debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid any more attention. I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again? This one's up to Shepard. So we're going to immediately switch to the cane because it is coming back, my friends. Get this thing charged up. Watch that beam. And boom, there we go. We were able to hit it. That does a pretty substantial amount of damage. It doesn't one-shot it, but it does do quite a bit. We'll go ahead and warp those. And then we need to make our way around this area so that we can grab more items that we can find. This med station won't work for us. Watching out for this, it's going to be destroying all of the fragile crates that are around us, but there is more that we can still grab. So we're gonna come over this way, grab this med kit here for 100 credits. Before destroying the Oculus, we just want to make sure that we get everything. We'll go ahead, now that it's shooting at our friends there, Morden hopefully not going down. We'll go ahead and pop that incinerate. And that, uh, he did go down. That's fine. And grab these power cells here, which allows us to fire the cane again. And you don't need to worry about it. You'll have full, it'll be full again. We'll grab this med station for another 100 credits. Just running around the place, getting everything that we can. There's more power cells here as well. We can fill those up. Now, like I said, we could fire the cane again, uh, but there's no real need to at when it's this low. Thane is still alive, so we can warp. We can also reeve. There's plenty of ways that we can take this down. That incendiary ammo that we have, or inferno ammo now, on our pistol, you can see it just piercing through, doing so much damage. And we'll go ahead and destroy this with a warp, a reeve, and there we go. The Oculus is destroyed. collector base. See if you can find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us.
the main gun. How do you like that, you sons of bitches? Getting close and finish them off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! <laughs> Generators are offline. Edie, give me something. Generators unresponsive. All points for impact. Joker, you okay? <sighs> I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Multiple core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. Our primary objective is to destroy the station and stop the collectors at any cost. Well, then we're off to a good start. What's next? How long until the collectors find this landing zone? I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. Well, if we're lucky, if their external sensors were hit like we were, they might not know we're alive. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the Collectors, and that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the Collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. It might be a good idea to split up to keep the Collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. It's not a fortress. There's gotta be something. Here, maybe we can send someone in through this ventilation shaft. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? And one of our first choices for the suicide mission of Mass Effect 2 is who goes into the shaft. Which, my friends, you will find out in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition Insanity Difficulty. I'm so excited for it. If you listen to Jacob, this is all I'm going to say. If you listen to Jacob, it is, in fact, a suicide mission for Jacob. Just don't listen to Jacob. Pretty much when Jacob suggests anything in this game, go do it. Don't listen to him. Just ignore it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. That was bonkers. I absolutely love passing through the Omega-4 relay. I love the Oculus boss fight. It's actually very easy, even for a Vanguard, to be honest with you. Uh, I just enjoy it so much. Thank you guys for watching. The next episode is going to be from this to the the end of the main story of this game uh and i'm so excited we only have a few episodes of mass effect 2 left thank you thank you thank you uh leave a comment in the in the leave a comment on the youtube video if you guys enjoyed it uh not just in the chat if you're at the premieres but the comments on the video itself really do help us so thank you huge shout out to those of you liking these videos and leaving comments watching the premieres even bigger shout out to those of you supporting the channel over on patreon.com slash missile dine online i would not be able to do this without you in the next episode we are going to send Legion into these uh, into these ventilation shafts. He's a Geth. If anybody can shut this down quickly, it's going to be him or Tally or Kasumi. Any three of those will be able to do it. Hey, I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, never give up, never surrender to the collectors. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>